Hello one and all. Welcome to another V podcast. We have taken up a lot of hobbies during these lockdown days and have tried our hand at gardening, painting, singing, playing musical instruments, making and editing homemade videos and the like. As we stayed indoors engaged in a hundred different activities, what brought all members in a family together is the aroma wafting from the kitchen. The luxury that COVID-19 has made possible is the time to sit together around the dining table and have family meals, something that had been impossible during regular days, what with each member having a different time schedule to follow. Food and eating habits, however, require much thought and even caution. In today's podcast, Dr. Indu MS, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, shares with us the consequences of unhealthy eating and how we can bring our dietary habits back on track. Hello everyone, I am presenting about the topic impact of unhealthy eating habits during COVID-19 lockdown and their consequences. In view of a situation where the humankind is going through a new and unprecedented experience in its lifetime. The entire human population which claim to be the masters of world with their intelligence and technical advancement was stunned and made standstill by one of the smallest living organisms namely coronavirus. With the pandemic coronavirus infection spreading all over the world, affecting all sectors of people, irrespective of developed or underdeveloped countries, socio-economic status, gender, religions, etc., have made people rethink how small and equal we are even in front of a microorganism. This viral attack has given a clear lesson for humanity not to overestimate the resilience of our global society to external shocks. It has put strict restrictions on all our preferences like what we eat, where we go and much more. But with the positive attitude and the ability of human beings to cope up with all the adverse conditions, we have overcome and adapted well to the situation in just few days. The phase of lockdown has definitely impacted our eating habits. Since the dining out has come to a stop, many of us who enjoyed eating food from outside are now forced to eat healthier and economical home cooked meals. With sufficient free time in hand, we have started experimenting our cooking abilities with the support of several online videos. It has resulted in unhealthy eating habits with all of us taking our favorite food without any control and restrictions. When we are at home, there is a tendency of indulging in comfort treats like chocolate, chips and ice creams, all of which add up extra weight. The rapid increase in the habit of snacks between the meals along with a sedentary lifestyle is seen to produce severe effect on commonest chronic disorders like cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. According to the fact sheets of 2019, the World Health Organization has identified cardiovascular diseases as one of the commonest causes of death worldwide. And majority of these deaths are due to atherosclerosis, a chronic inflammatory disease of artery. Atherosclerosis is a condition where the arterial walls become thickened and the size of the lumen of blood vessel gets narrowed due to the deposition of extra fats. Excessive intake of sweets and oil-rich food results in 
excess amount of cholesterol in bloodstream. Two main types of cholesterol that we all have seen in lab reports of blood are low density lipoprotein that is LDL and high density lipoprotein that is HDL. The risk of atherosclerosis is directly related to levels of LDL and inversely related to HDL. Low density lipoprotein is supposed to be bad cholesterol because excessive circulating LDL causes injury to the wall of blood vessel and it, it is acted upon by our immune cells to produce deposits called atherosclerotic plaque. Atherosclerotic plaque increases blood pressure, compromises the blood supply to various organs of the body and if dislodged can obstruct complete blood supply as in stroke or cardiac block. High density lipoprotein is considered as good cholesterol because it helps in the transport of cholesterol from the tissues to liver for its metabolism and removal. Diabetes mellitus is another metabolic disorder caused by uptake of unhealthy food and it is a condition in which there is increased blood glucose level as a result of deficiency of insulin. Insulin is a hormone produced by pancreas which reduces glucose level in blood. High carbohydrate and oily foods, carbonated soft drinks along with a sedentary lifestyle contribute for aggravation of diabetic disorder. Next we will discuss about the healthy eating habits which can be followed during the stay at home. Healthy diet is necessary to reduce the risk of infection and improving our immunity. Complex carbohydrates found in fruits, vegetables and whole grains provide important nourishment for our brain and also stabilizes our moods. Immunity is one of the important methods by which human body can resist the spread of infections. We have seen from the spread of COVID-19 that immunosuppressed people are more susceptible to the viral attack while people with high immunity are less prone to infection. In order to enhance the resistance to infection and to increase immunity, performing of yoga, meditation, etc. can be done. Inclusion of immuno-enhancing food in the diet should also be considered. Citrus fruits, garlic, ginger, turmeric, almonds and green tea are proven to be excellent immunoboosters and can be included in the diet. To satiate the sugar cravings, a fruit or a date can be taken. Instead of oily snacks, use gram or corn to which some herbs, onions, tomatoes and spices can be added. It's healthier and will give much needed protein. Avoid snacking on potatoes and salted chips. Proteins and fiber rich foods are essential as they help you feel satiated and this ensures that you do not overeat. A balanced diet which includes a variety of foods high in vitamins and minerals like spinach, beans, eggs, poultry, fish is ideal. To conclude with my talk, COVID-19 lockdown has enabled the people to recognize their ability to survive with the minimum materials available and perform most of their duties within the confinement of four walls. Adapting to a healthy diet and establishing a good eating habit during the free time will definitely help us to build a barrier against infection and a disease-free life in future. Eat healthy and stay happy. Thank you. So now we know the food items that may be doing our body and health much harm. And we also know what we can substitute these with. Let us all stay fit and healthy, for as the old maxim goes, health is wealth. Thank you, Indu ma'am, for the crisp and highly informative talk.